August 2nd, 2022, and this is what the mornings look like in Junín de los Andes. Check out all this frost everywhere. And this is nothing. This is the parking lot. There's just all these trees. The hostel was cozy and included a fireplace and a fully equipped kitchen, as well as a furry inhabitant. He seemed to enjoy begging for food and climbing the furniture, but when it came to drinking water, he had no problem helping himself. We left Junín de los Andes for San Martín de los Andes, which was only a 40 kilometer drive away, so I won't bore you with any music, just these few scenes to show we were now getting well into much lower latitudes, approaching the 40th parallel. Upon arrival to San Martin de los Andes, we did an exploratory spin through town, which I of course filmed for your entertainment, and so you could get an idea of what the town looks like. It is a nicely laid out town with abundant trees lining the sidewalks and a wood and stone architecture which I guess would be considered alpine in origin. It is tucked away neatly in a valley of heavily wooded hills which gives way to a beach opening to the west which is the bank of the Lago Lacar. It looks like a fjord. You will see it later on in the video from the lookout point we will visit above the town. San Martin de los Andes is one of the best known tourism spots in all of Argentina, offering activities such as hiking, mountain biking, rafting, and snow sports. As we drove through town, we also looked for a laundry place because we had no more clean clothes after being on the road for so long. Adriana was also busy trying to find us a place to stay for the night. I know some of you think the best thing about my videos is my beautiful wife, and honestly, I don't really blame you. So here she is looking extra cute, deeply immersed in thought, as she tries to find us an accommodation. <laughs> She was successful in finding us a place to stay, so we made our way slightly back out of town towards our rental, again amused at the alpine architecture and heavily wooded hills until eventually reaching a dirt road. As far as my limited knowledge goes, I am of the understanding that San Martin de los Andes is home to a large community of the native Mapuche people, which I believe mostly inhabit the outskirts of this town. As a matter of fact, our rental was owned by a friendly indigenous family. So check this place out, it's super cool. Got a little kitchen with a fridge and a stove and oven, place to wash, uh, water heater thingy, which is 
very important in Argentina. You have storage, little dining area, a wood heater. Um, I guess this is more storage or you can sit here. Nice little sleeping area. That's where I sleep when Adriana's mad at me. And let's check out the bathroom. <laughs> Not bad at all. Here we have a native Argentinian woman performing a demonstration on how to light one of these wood fire heaters. Hopefully, without burning down the highly flammable log cabin we found ourselves in. Thankfully, we didn't have to call any firefighters, and after warming up, we decided to go for a little walk. Okay, so Adriana and I decided we're gonna go on a little hike up, I guess, this mountain. So let's see what we find. That's where we're staying. That's where we're going. Now we're going to go explore the Lago Nacar. We set out in search of the Mirador Arrayanes, a well-known lookout point of the city and the lake below. We had to drive back into town and then take a dirt road which winded southwest bordering the lake. Okay, so we stopped 450 meters short of the top and now we're going to walk the rest of the way. So that up there is the higher of the two outlook spots, outlook points. 
I guess the more famous one is the lower one. I'm sure it's probably even better, but Google Maps marked this one, uh, but you can't miss the first one. There's a sign. And over here you have San Martin de los Andes, the town with its own little access to the lake there. It looks like there's a beach down there. We were extremely hungry at this point, so we descended into San Martin de los Andes this time taking a road called Juez de la Paz Julio Cesar Quiroga that borders the southern side of town all the way to the shore of the Lago Lacar, where it merges with the Ruta 40, allowing one to enter the town from the western side. The Ruta 40 runs smack through the middle of town. Gonna check out Parrilla Pisces. See, it's, no, it's closed. Forget it. We're not gonna check it out. We're gonna walk down the road. Just gonna walk around town a little bit and see if we can find something to eat. Because when you're a traveler in these countries, in this country, you do your activities and then you sort of end your activity day right when right in the middle of like the siesta time and you know everything's closed everything opens at 8 p.m. and you're just you know ravenous by that time and yeah so that's one of the things about Argentina you got to be really uh, you know aware of it's a beautifully laid out town no one's gonna deny that and it's very appealing you know obviously with all these little houses and stuff and it's very clean one thing is a uh, rush hour is kind of a little precarious because um, there's actually no traffic lights in the city. So even though I think sometimes it's advertised as still being very functional despite that, it was not the case when we got here today. Right now it's super chill, but that's because you know this is kind of the the chill hour. Um, of the day. Work hour? Yes. Okay, thank you, baby, for clearing that up. <laughs> oh, that must be for clothes. But I, I'm guessing some kid probably already tried. It's called... Junin. Not Junin. Yeah, I know. That's the bus stop. So, if you want to take a bus, this is where you would get off. Cool town. Check out these hawks. They're just chilling while well, that guy took off. But drinking water. Have you noticed that a lot in this area? They they just like chilling. The hawks just like walk around. Got the whole lake right there. Uh, I'm gonna 
trying to find this restaurant. Dunde. Ah. Check out all these hawks. In some cities you have uh, doves and I guess here you have birds of prey. Okay, I'm going to pause Smart Alec Max from the past and just point out the fact that in 2018 the city actually reinstated the controlled release of peregrine falcons in an effort to control the plague of doves that had infested the city. Granted, the falcons we encountered are not peregrines but rather Chimango Caracaras, if my research is accurate. Anyway, back to the video. Alright, so check it out. We have the whole lake right here in front of us. Just had that dinner that you saw, and now we're gonna walk back to the hotel actually. And I didn't even get a shot of the of the outside, but I'll put the Google I'll put the Google thing in there.